now on four, a new series looking at a range of personal services. This week, canine comfort is the order of the day in Give a Dog a Home. Hello, can I help you? I'm calling about your address. How can I help? Say hello to Toto, beloved pet of the Fox family from Elton. Toto is a seven-year-old pedigree Yorkshire Terrier, sort of. He wasn't quite up to scratch. He wasn't totally a reject, but he wasn't quite a proper pedigree. And they brought him in and put this little scrap, this tiny little thing, on our settee. And he kind of unfolded his ears. His ears were too big and they're slightly in the wrong position for Yorkshire Terrier's cup of tea. The foxes are going on holiday and so is Toto. But not together. Other arrangements have been made for him. Ideally, we would have liked to take him away with us, but we just can't. It's just not fair to him. He gets too distressed and upset in the car. Some doggy folk never go away because they won't put their best friend into kennels. Marilyn Lewis, owner of Old Scamp, recognised a gap in the market and, for eight pounds a day, about a pound more than the cost of kennels, now provides a personal service for canines, which has proved to be a nice little earner. Good afternoon, home from home. Oh, hello, yes. Um, I've seen your advert in the paper. Yes. And I'm inquiring about, well, I've got a boxer called Oscar. Right. And he's never been away from home before. OK. Um, basically, we have a register of dog carers throughout the um, South East. And they're people who are vetted by us and come onto our books. And they're at home during the day. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll do it together. Oh. Is he going to poo away in the home? Ah. No. And then you have to give details. His turn. Yes. No. Is your dog likely to jump onto furniture? Yeah. 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 Describe your dog's level of obedience. Not very high, I say. Um, <laughs> no, not very high. I say just. He's not trained. Is it's it? It's over oh. normal. Over normal, I say. Mm. Right, wine. Put but occasionally. Put very occasionally. No. Yeah. No, not very occasionally. No, only when desperate. Shut up, Rose. What do you think? I don't think he does. I don't think he does. He does scratch in the back. Don't talk to me. Talk to Rose. Just say it only when desperate. I don't think he does. What about the circling on occasion the end there? Everybody's got to have their say. Yeah, but you don't have to. Everybody's got to have their say. They're going to think we're mad. Occasionally. I don't think he does occasionally. Back door. Mother and son, Rose and Fred Hill, have been on Marilyn's books for 18 months and, like all carers, are paid five pounds a day. The Hills used to share their home with a Yorkshire Terrier just like Toto, and they still pine for Peanuts, who passed away three years ago. Peanuts was, um very dear to me, you know, and I, I don't think I could cope with another dog. And it's the fact that I couldn't afford to have another dog, even if I wanted one. But um, having the other dogs, like dog minding, you know, it's just right, because I have all different dogs, and I don't have to worry about the price of looking after them, because the owners fetch everything they need, and I can love the dogs at the same time, you see. Taking on other people's dogs, at the end of the day, they go home. And like, it's a bit sad to see them go, yes, but another day, another day, another dog will be here. So it's not too upsetting, and plus we're getting over the fact that Peanuts has died. How do you describe Oscar's level of obedience? Mm. What do you think he's like? Oh, not very good. <laughs> do I think he's very good? His character's funny. He's funny, is he? He's hyper. Mm. He's very hyper. No, I can't write that down, can he's I? He's mad. He's mad as well. What's he just had with us that we like? Cup of tea. Cup of tea and dinner. So write that down. Cup of tea. Yes. Cup of tea. Oh. He barks at the hoover. He barks at the hoover. 
Why tries, do you think he does does that? He tries to bite it and yeah. jump over it. Oh, we can write that down, can't mm -hmm. we? Barks at the hoover. And bites. And bites. And bites it, shall we? Okay, then. Some people think 78-year-old widow and carer, Wynne Bellingham, is a bit odd. She isn't, but she is psychic, hence her nickname, Wynne the Witch. Wynne, happy to join in with the joke, named her house Witch Winds and filled it with appropriate knickknacks. Well, that's just a big laugh. But caring for other people's dogs is something she takes very seriously. I prefer the medium to the larger dogs. You've got somebody to, to sort of see rather than the little dog to, to trip over. You can see where the larger dogs are. They need a lot of exercise and so do I. So I combine the two. And I think they're just more company. Gwyn is one of Marilyn's original carers. I like having the dogs here rather than thinking of them go to kennels because when the animals go into the kennels, it's, it's like putting them in a prison. They're in cages, they're away from normal household surroundings and carpets. Whereas when the dogs come to me, it's a one-to-one -one service. The day of delivery for Toto and Oscar. I'm a bit apprehensive. I'm wondering whether he'll, he'll pine. I don't know, I'm just wondering whether he'll sort of try and get out. That's his normal trick here. Um, I think if anything ever happened to him, we'd, we'd be devastated. All those treats, yeah. You seem to be sick if you eat all them. I do want that towel and shampoo as well, Nicola. Right. When I have the dogs to stay, I take this downstairs because it's a nice comfy rug for the dogs to lay on other than their own baskets that they bring in. So it'll have to have a good shake in the garden in case there's any other dog hairs left on it. Wynne, who prefers big dogs, gets Toto, and the Hills, who love Yorkies, have been landed with Oscar. Funny how dogs, rather like real children, have a tendency to let you down and disgrace themselves at exactly the moment you want them to make a good impression. Let's go in. Just go in and I'll go and clear it all up. Charming. Yes, he's, we've he's boarded that up this morning so that he couldn't get through, and I've also boarded up the back oh. gate. Oh, yeah, I can see that. I don't want, to, like lose him. <laughs> don't like want to lose him on the first day. No. Yeah. The reason he's been sick, he's had a bag of cream toffees. Who we'll let him have that anyway? He got them himself. Um, yeah. Also, fruit pastels. Oh, no. He's had a big, and I mean a big bag. So he's going to bring all that up, is Yeah, it? well, he's just brought one lot up, hasn't he? So, sorry. These are his treats. But I think I've gone a little bit overboard here with them. How often does he have them? Well, once a day. Once a day. Yeah, the big Good ones. Goodbye, Oscar. Okay, come on then. What, is Oscar staying in there? Yeah, he's got two. Looks a bit dejected now, doesn't he? Come on then. Otherwise I'll stay. <laughs> okay, you've got him. Yeah, we've got him. Have a nice holiday, thank you. See you later. See you later. See you later. Alright, in you get then. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye Wayne. Strange. I don't feel a bit snivelly. Come on then, Toto. Bring your toy. 